Hello everyone, my name is Swing Point, and welcome to Resident Evil Resistance. This is the multiplayer game bundled with Resident Evil 3. And today I'm very excited to finally come back to Spencer. It's been a while. Last time we did a Spencer build, it was the Everything Spencer build, and it got nerfed literally the day after. Because <laughs> it was really good, and I guess I, you know, should have saw that coming. And now I finally sat down and was like, you know what, let's see what we can do about Spencer again. And we're kind of back on the symbiosis track. I don't want to make another Spencer build where he just sits there in his guns and just plays with the terminals forever. One reason being is that they did go ahead and nerf that. In case you weren't aware, a recent patch made it so that defense system, which we're not even using in this build, got nerfed. So area two, it takes five seconds for a terminal to go ahead and be deactivated by the survivors at default. Defense system brought that number up from five seconds to 10 seconds, but it was just nerfed recently. So now instead of going up to 10 seconds, it only goes up to 7.5. So it took a little bit of the cooling fan Spencer viability and toned it down a bit, but I don't care about that today. I've never done a deadbolt build with you guys. And we did symbiosis and symbiosis is my preferred way to play Spencer because I, I get so tired of turning lights on and off and locking doors and interacting with this just to farm my bioenergy. I think symbiosis is way more fun, requires you to think a lot more, and it's actually useful in area three. So today I'm gonna to show you what I have working. I'm gonna to talk to you about what's in the equipment and I'm gonna to talk to you about what's in the deck. And then really from there, you guys can go ahead and decide what you wanna mix and match because what I love about this is that there's a lot of different opportunities to kinda of shift it to your play style while also it touches just about every single part of the game. And that's one thing I really appreciate is when a build is able to accomplish all of those things. And then I'll show you what it looks like in a match, okay? So we're gonna have hypercharge for area three, mod recycler for area two. And you know, frankly, if you guys can come up with an advanced mod or overcharge mod build that works, I would love to hear it. We're gonna be rocking symbiosis instead of recharge on his bioactivation passive skill. We're gonna have Deadbolt instead of Defense System. I do think this same exact deck could work with Defense System. Probably would work really well with it, honestly. But I just wanna try Deadbolt because we're gonna be using Lockdown Traps. And then we're gonna be using Generator instead of Clone. Now onto the equipment. This is something that you can change up. What I'm currently rocking is something that affects all the different parts of the game. That's really the whole point of this. It's gonna be touch everything. And I think that's cool. So we're gonna have modified gear to get in and out of guns quickly. We're gonna have fresh blood because it's so good and it makes your creatures a little more bitey. We're gonna have viral canister to make it so that the poison we have attached to our creatures is more potent. And then we're gonna have unstable generator on to get him a little bit more bioenergy because he can't farm it off of lights or you know interactions with the EIS. And this is also going to increase biocore durability a little bit. And when you combo up with the fact that biocore durability did go up by itself natively with the most recent patch. It went from 16,000 HP up to 21,000 HP for all masterminds. This is just gonna be a nice little boost over the top. Onto the deck. This is what I think is really fun about this. It's a little bit different than everything Spencer, but at the same time, it has the same type of idea. Because symbiosis, the whole point of symbiosis is balance. Isn't that kind of what the word means? So symbiosis deck here is going to have two traps, it's gonna have two creatures, it's gonna have two guns, and it's gonna have one effect card. The way Symbiosis works is after using a skill card, it temporarily lowers the cost of skill cards that are of a different type by one. So what does that mean? That means if I use my immobilizing round, that means that creatures are gonna be reduced by one. Traps are gonna be reduced by one. Effect cards are gonna be reduced by one. But the machine gun card is not going to be affected because it's under the gun class. If you look into these, there's a bunch of different categories, right? So we currently have the machine gun equipped, but if you want to go ahead and change it up, you can switch it to whatever. Creature, trap, firearm, effect, mod. So if you, <laughs> I'm assuming if you use a mod, it would actually affect this, but you don't really want to use your mods that often. Or maybe you do. Oh, wow. Now I'm thinking about this. <gasps> is that the secret to Symbiosis Mod Spencer? Is actually spending your mod... 
We'll have to investigate that on stream. We do stream, by the way, every single night, twitch.tv slash swingpoint. Love to see you there. Links in the description. But oh, something just clicked. Is that, is Symbi oh my God. Anyway, so onto the deck we currently have here. We're gonna be running triple mod and they're all gonna be efficiency mods. So the point of this deck is to make everything super cheap to keep up with the fact that he can't farm bioenergy. And then we're also gonna have the equipment over the top to keep his bioenergy up. So in practice, let's say I go ahead and I use zombie infectious off the top. It's only gonna cost two, right? Because we're gonna have efficiency mod creatures. But once you start factoring in these other mods and then symbiosis, well, that means high explosive landmine is only gonna cost two. Lockdown trap would only cost one. Immobilizing round would cost one. Electromagnetic shield would cost one. Machine gun would cost two. So everything gets super cheap. Or let's say you flip it around. Let's say you use mobilizing rounds. Well, then that means your tough zombie infectious is only going to cost three. Your regular zombie infectious is only going to cost one. And since we're going to have infectious over the top, that's going to make them more potent. Since we're going to have these guns, it makes modified gear more important. You know what I mean? We're synergizing everything. Now, if you feel like you can get away without using unstable generator, go ahead and put something in to complement your play style. Maybe trap damage or, you know, really whatever works for you. Okay. And again, the whole point of this video and this build is to create a build that you can have success with. It's not going to be the most ridiculous, you know, Dr. Birkin freaky crap that I can come up with. We can do stuff that's crazy, but this is successful and it's fun. It's not broken, but it's, it lets you touch every part of the game. Creatures, infection, effect cards, trap cards gun cards you get to play around with everything and it rewards you for balance which i think is fun and i think it's fun that it's rewarding so i'm going to get into a match here show you what it looks like and then you can kind of figure out from there if it's something you want to use but one thing i forgot to mention before we get into it is you're like well triple mod ew why are you doing that it's because in area two we have mod recycler and mod recycler is going to be able to take those three cards and give you bioenergy back for them i know mod recycler got nerfed by running three of them, it allows you to cycle your deck kind of like a quick draw while also giving you bioenergy back. Okay? So, now that we got that explained, let's get into a match. All right, so we have another Spencer match here, and we got Downtown. Downtown is so tough. Oh, see what we can do here. Downtown has that major problem where the survivors only have to run one way. Every other map, you got to make them run back and forth, and that is how you resist. They don't got to deal with that on downtown and when they do have to deal with it they get the advantage of long corridors so there's there's a lot of problems with downtown and then in area three they have all the different directions in which they can shoot the cores so downtown's always going to be a rough map for mastermind against teams that know how to play but i guess we'll see what we can do wish me luck it is five in the morning which means a lot of rank 100s are going to come out or, you know, good enough girl squad here. Yeah, I guess we'll see what we can do. Part of what we really like doing is like comboing up the machine gun. And frankly, something you could do if you don't want to run the lockdown traps, you can run leg hold traps and really just try to nail people with leg hold trap machine gun combos. But we'll see what we can do. Today I may hmm. reveal the final piece. Okay, I'm gonna lock right away so that I can go ahead and get the EIS. Your Deadbolt advantage that we have there. We have all three of our mods right away, so we're already playing a little bit of, you know, hopefully we get what we get is good. I'm just gonna try to take some shots in right away. Oh, they're gonna go ahead and shoot at me right away. So I'm just gonna leave. Make them waste up their ammo, but that's fine. Am I ready to lock over here? Yes, I am. Get another lock in. They're coming. I'm gonna get ready here. Existence now, they might be expecting gun Spencer out of me. Either way, I'm just going to sit here and try to play with them. Girl squad, force them in. They're not looking at the trap, which is nice. They tried shooting at me. Come on. Playing door games. Y'all going to come in or what? I can do this for a while, man. What are y'all doing? Y'all got to come in eventually. There's the lock I was looking for. All right, time to get that poison in. Back is just trying to snipe all the way back there. All right, now what else can we set up here? I got a shield here. Ooh, immobilizing rounds. Dang. <laughs> Jan just took off my camera. 
Oh, they're letting Valerie do the cam or do the door. That's funny. They're really taking their time here. I don't know what they're doing. All right, now let's see the start places. Oh, here come the grenades. I see. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Got my camera shield back up. Oh, let's just make them wait. Just about that resistance, man. Making them really work for it. They don't have a Tyrone, which is working out really well for me. Um, I'm going to sit here and just try to... Ooh, can't get my poison in. Put you here. Ooh, make them blow up. Nice. See if I can get a creature in. They're all poisoned. You're running them up, which is bad. I'm going to bite you. Oh, you got counterattack. That means that you were one of those Molotov Valeries. And again, just trying to get a bunch of stuff in their way. What are you dealing with in here? All right, she opened it back up. I was going to lock it on her again. But... It's locked. Okay, what do we got? Everything's max locked right away. Just get ready with Becky here. To get you. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, really? Take it. Just like on the right. So whenever you play Spencer, they're always really attuned to going after cameras, even if you're not running a gun build. So it makes it a little tough sometimes because everybody stares at your cameras when you're Spencer. When you're a Nat or Daniel, they don't really do that. Whenever you play Spencer, though, they just breathe down your throat with staring at cameras. Good. The results are fascinating. And right now I'm kind of at their mercy here. I will not Honestly, drop you know what? So I'm just gonna cycle. Compared to my bio weapons, but guns I'm just gonna cycle. Uses. Because at this point, I just want to get stuff set up for them. So, work what we can do here. See if I can get a leg hold trap in here. Cycle this into right here. And then just get ready to mess with them a little bit. So, this is going to be a really good combo. One, two, three here. I'm not sure I want to use it yet, though. I think I'm going to wait until I'm up here. I think this will be a good opportunity for me. Unless this monster shows up and does that to me. But we can still camera shield our way through some of that. And I'm just going to start getting all these other doors ready. I mean, if they're sitting here taking forever, these guys are kind of slow. Like, they like to hokey poke around a bit. Now Jan's going to be coming around the corner here. Val. Use you, use you. Four into her. That's what I was looking for. Now I'm going to start putting stuff on top of her. This. This. This get out of the way. So we can hit anybody there. Just trying to capitalize on the kill a little bit here. Not sure I'll really get away with it, but I'm trying. Um, where even are these guys right now? She's over here. Oh, she was getting picked up. I was like, where is she? Okay, I'm gonna put you over here. Hopefully the liquors can do me some work here. She's Sniper Becca for sure. Ooh, oh, she's Sniper Becca, but she's also using her ult right now is what that is. Right, so I'm just going to try to get ready in here. Perfect. Lock her in here. Make this tough on them in here. Nope. Just trying to poison you for a bit. Oh, you're biting her. Why are you biting her? Why are you biting through the immobilizing rounds? What? Since when did they do that? Since when have they ever done that? What? I thought the immobilizing rounds kind of kept them from doing that. Oh, don't touch me. 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 Ooh, there it is. All right, so Yorick's way back here. I might be able to pick on Jan a little bit. I could also just into them and get some time off of them since they got that freaking machine gun. Okay, where's Jan? Now, everything's super locked up on them, so I'm actually gonna go ahead and just try to resist this over here. I don't know that Jan's really worth my time right now. Let's see if I can get up real quick. See, Jan could be worth a bite right now. I don't know. I'm kind of torn about it. What I can do is try to mess them on the door. They're going to open it, and I'm going to close it, and then the zombie might lock it for me. Or I might just get a bite in. Okay. Oh, I got the bite. Nice. I'm going to try it again. Get a bite here. They let me. Oh, she got away? You lucky little snot. I'm just going to try to stop this here. Make it so she can't attack. And just try to, like... Oh, the Molotov, man. 
All right, she's just standing there, so I'm going to get another bite in. I don't know why you're standing there, Becky. I don't know if you're trying to get poison off you or what, but I'm going to take advantage of it. Uh, Beck is just hanging out right there. I'm going to put a mine right here, try to cause some chaos. Throw this on you, so when you break out, you run into it. They're going to be recycled here. I'm going to get ready to do this again. I think she gave up. I don't know what happened. She's having a meltdown or something. Put this on top of them. Nice. Cool. This was on downtown. Downtown sucks. So, I do think that you're going to run into teams that handle this better. Like, I think some crowd control from a Sam would really go a long way. Girl Squad's usually a nightmare for Spencer. Especially Gun Spencer. But what's nice about this build in particular is you got a bunch of other things that are hitting them. So, I think a Sam could really ruin your day. Or a Tyrone with a good boot, because the doors are way less effective when Tyrone's got a big boot. So that's when you can go ahead and be like, well, I can use the concept of symbiosis, but maybe I want to change some things up based on, you know, what I think is most painful to deal with as a mastermind. Like, if Tyrone really bothers you, maybe go ahead and use defense systems so that you can get a little bit more on your area 2 activation times, and it's not as big of a deal if he can just boot through all of your doors. Maybe take out the lockdown trap and put in a leg hold trap. You got a bunch of options here. So, again, the idea is introducing how this build works, the balance behind it. I think it's fun. And we've had a lot of success with it when we stream. We stream every night, twitch.tv slash wingpoint. Link is in the description. If you want to go hang out, talk builds, suggest builds, just talk about the game, see what you think, or just talk about really anything else, because a lot of times when we stream, we just talk about anything. We just have a good time. So, if you ever want to be over there, link's in the description. Thank you so much for being here. I hope this build just kind of opens your mind to how Spencer works. Opens your mind to the game. Don't feel like you got to be so, you know, pigeonholed into, you know, I got to run poison or I got to run a net or I got to do this. Gives you an opportunity to play with other masterminds and just experiment a little bit and play with all the different parts of the game. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. Thank you so much for being here. And then I'll see you guys in the next video that we do around here.